Hi there, it's Steve Heiner. I'm a senior technical manager with Nikon in New York. Uh, welcome to CES 2019. Uh, we're here actually uh, showing off our new Z series of cameras and lenses that were introduced late last year. Uh, this is the first time at CES we've had both the Z6 and the Z7 camera along with our new series of Z mount lenses. Uh, in fact, just last night we introduced a brand new 14 millimeter to 30 millimeter ultra wide angle lens based on our Z mount uh, specification. Uh, this is a very lightweight, very small lens that's actually filterable. This has a, uh, a front uh, millimeter size of uh, 82 millimeters, which allow you to use a polarizer or neutral density uh, for filmmakers. This is on a Z6 camera right now. Uh, this is probably one of the, the absolute best video uh, SLR type cameras, a small compact camera. Of course, this is mirrorless, a full frame mirrorless camera. In fact, you can see right inside here is where the sensor is located. There's no mirror mechanism in this camera, hence the name mirrorless. Uh, we've actually enlarged the size of the mount considerably over our Nikon F mount and reduced the flange back distance uh, which existed when there was a mirror in an SLR camera. Uh, so this enables us to actually do a lot of very interesting optical designs based on that mount dimension. And this 14 to 30 is evidence of that. Uh, this is a very small, very compact uh, system. This works extremely well both for still photography and especially for video. Uh, this will shoot 4K both in FX format and DX format. And of course, both the Z6 and Z7 will allow now through the HDMI output a full 10-bit output using N-Log uh, directly to an external recorder like an Atomos Ninja 5. This, is, uh, this, is, uh, this has a fold-out screen. It uh, can uh, be tipped up like so for low angle or down for high angle uh, photography or video. Uh, this is a fully uh, touch capable screen that will allow you to access menu items. You can have uh, all of your, your favorite items located right here on the screen, which can be very easily changed from one to another just by touching. Uh, the great part about that uh, is that you have a full information display both in still photography and in video playback as well. You have options in terms of uh, displaying histogram, level, this will show the camera being level, and a full information display which gives you all your pertinent information about what settings you have set. The camera is capable of shooting in uh, slow motion uh, built into the camera. It has multiple AF modes. Uh, and it's just, uh, it's just a pleasure to use. You'll notice that the button layout is very similar to our DSLR cameras. We kind of figure if it isn't broke, don't fix it. So we have a, a main input dial, which is your command uh, input dial for your mode selections. It has a user one, two, and three mode, as well as an automatic mode. And of course, the uh, video record button right next to the shutter release button, ISO button, a top level display which gives you sort of an abbreviated look at what your settings are. And one of the best parts about this camera is this new EVF. We actually have multiple elements in here including an aspheric element to make the view of this 3.6 million dot EVF uh, even clearer and brighter than, uh, uh, than can be imagined. This is, this is probably one of the things we were waiting most for was the technology and the EVF to uh, reach a point where uh, our photographers and uh, filmmakers would uh, be happy with it. All of the other buttons you'll notice are located in a very familiar place for anybody who's used DSLRs before. All the inputs are in the same place you would expect from your DSLRs, right on the side of the camera. You've got HDMI, you've got USB, an accessory port, a microphone port, and a headphone port, all built in right here to the side of the camera. And of course, we have function buttons on the front here. We have our uh, uh, sub-command input dial. This can be used for aperture control and of course the main command input dial for shutter speed or for shifting your uh, automatic programmed exposure. So that's basically the uh, Z6 camera in a nutshell. It's a great little camera, nice little easy to carry package, but very powerful. This is 24 uh, megapixels and we also make the Z7 which is a 45 megapixel camera. So whatever your needs either of these two cameras should be able to satisfy. Uh, the other product that we've introduced here at CES is a filmmaker kit comprised of 
the Z6 camera, a 24 to 70 millimeter f4 lens, an FTZ a mount adapter, which actually allow you to mount your f mount Nikkor lenses on either of these two cameras with more compatibility than ever before. In fact, even some of those very old lenses that didn't have vibration reduction now will by virtue of in body image stabilization. In that filmmaker kit, we're also including the aforementioned Atomos Ninja 5 field recorder, which will record that 4K signal in analog coming out of the camera. We've also included a Moza hand stabilizer, a three-axis stabilizer gimbal, uh, which will help uh, steady the camera. Uh, we've, built, uh, uh, we've built into this kit also a new Rode microphone, uh, which can be attached to the camera or to the uh, gimbal if you prefer. Uh, we've included a couple extra batteries uh, or a battery in addition to the one that comes with the camera. And we've also included a Vimeo uh, subscription so you can post those great movies that you make after you uh, use the Filmmaker Kit. And we've also included some instruction with a uh, how to make uh, videos uh, by Chris Hirschman, which is a Nikon School production, which has about a, a $40 value. So uh, I would encourage anybody to go on Nikon USA and look up for the uh, Z6 Filmmaker Kit. It's an exciting option if you're thinking about doing any kind of filmmaking. But the Z6 and Z7 are the latest in our full frame mirrorless, along with our Z system lenses. Go to Nikon USA and check it out today.